Let's talk about some secret Pokemon mentioned in Pokemon games that we never get to see. This is a topic that I really enjoy covering, and I've actually already made a video about it a little while ago. However, since that video, I have come across some more Pokemon that belong to this category that I haven't talked about before, and I really wanted to talk about them, so that's what we're going to do in this video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so this first one is a little more well known, so you may or may not have already heard about it before, but nevertheless it is extremely interesting because it concerns a potential Mega Jinx or some kind of other additional Jinx form. Jinx has long been a Pokemon that the Pokemon company seems like they just want to forget about. However, due to recent evidence, it very much seems like Game Freak at least tried to give Jinx some kind of special treatment in the form of a potential Mega Evolution. Coming from Twitter user and Pokemon data miner Matt Yukana is a very interesting discovery within the data of Pokemon Home. Obviously, Home has data for all Pokemon's cries, and this would include Jinx. However, in addition to Jinx cry, as Matt Yukana notes, is also an additional cry that also is intended for Jinx, which is evident not only due to the name of this file, but also due to how it actually sounds, which is clearly like that of Jinx, just a little bit changed compared to its normal cry. It has been speculated that due to the way that this additional Jinx cry sounds, amongst other things, that it could have potentially been intended for a Mega Jinx that would have presumably been introduced in either Pokemon X and Y or Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when Mega Evolutions were still being introduced. It is also interesting, considering that we are about to see the return of Mega Evolution in Pokemon Legends ZA, but this is not necessarily indicative of a Mega Jinx coming to that game. That's just more of a coincidence than anything else, but still something interesting and worth keeping an eye on. And while I don't usually cover cut Pokemon within these kinds of videos, this one was definitely way too interesting to pass up. So it's something that we will definitely want to take note of, cause who knows, maybe it will resurface at some point in the future. This next one is another really interesting one, because it comes from the same Pokemon Home data where that potential Mega Jinx was also discovered, but it concerns a much more unusual Pokemon in this department, Celestela. Coming from the same cry data that revealed the existence of that potential Mega Jinx, and once again courtesy of Matt Yukana, is data that seems to reveal the existence of an intended additional Celesteela form, which is really odd considering who Celesteela is as a Pokemon. Celestela is obviously an Ultra Beast, none of which really have any additional forms whatsoever, so it seems a bit random for Celestela to have potentially had a scrapped form of any kind, even if it was apparently scrapped. Nevertheless though, the data is within Pokemon Home itself and seems to be as legit as it comes. And another thing that is really interesting when considering this that also seems to add to its legitimacy is the fact that we have actually seen an additional form of Celestela before. It's just been in the anime and not in the games to this point. In the anime, a baby form of Celesteela was featured during the Sun and Moon arc, and this is actually a Pokemon that I've talked about in other videos before, so that definitely comes to mind when we talk about an additional form of Celesteela that apparently was planned for the games as well. So could this baby form of Celesteela actually been planned to be introduced in the games as well as the anime, but was cut for whatever reason? 
Wilson? Well, given the evidence and the information we currently have, that actually seems to be like the most likely scenario, which is pretty crazy. I don't know if we'll ever find out a resolution to this or find out who this alleged additional form of Celestila truly is, but even with just the potential for it to have been this baby form that was possibly intended to be in the games as well, is really cool and crazy all at the same time. Now we're going to jump out of the data of the games though and actually get into the games themselves, and this time we're going to be focusing on the Pokedex in particular. The Pokedex obviously offers a ton of very rich and interesting information about Pokemon and the Pokemon world, and this time we are looking at the Pokedex entries of the new Paldea Pokemon, Citadel. So Total has a pretty interesting dex entry in Pokemon Scarlet where it says, This species left the ocean and began living on land a very long time ago. It seems to be closely related to Whalmer. This dex entry is actually a reference to real life wells and their own evolution, however within the context of the Pokemon world, this dex entry seems to imply some kind of variant of Citadel that once existed a very long time ago, like some kind of regional variant or paradox Pokemon if you will. I mean, it outright confirms that Citadel, and therefore presumably its evolution to Titan, once used to live in the ocean instead of living on land, which essentially means that they probably looked very different at the time when they were living in the ocean, because they probably didn't have legs like the modern forms of these Pokemon do, and were probably more aquatic like actual whales are. And like I just mentioned, this would seem to imply the existence of a former regional variant at the very least, or even more likely, a paradox form for this Pokemon that existed in the distant past of the Pokemon world. This might all just be some implications on the part of the Pokedex, but personally, this is the kind of stuff that I really find fascinating because it expands what we know about the Pokemon world and really lights up your imagination in terms of the possibilities of what's out there that we haven't seen before. So I think this one is really interesting and thought it was worth a mention. Okay, so I've got one more for you guys because this is a little bit of a shorter list this time, but it's a very interesting one nevertheless because these are Pokemon that we literally have never seen before, and they come from the Alola games. Within Professor Kukui's lab, if you take a look at his PC, you'll get a bit of dialogue that says there's a picture of some Pokemon like you've never seen before on the screen which is obviously immensely exciting, except that we can't see anything or see the Pokemon that are being referred to on the screen at all. This one is obviously just a little bit of fun on the part of the developers and the people that are writing the text for the game, and this could have even potentially been a tease at the next generation of Pokemon, but nevertheless, this is the literal definition of Pokemon that are mentioned in the games that we never get to see, because that's literally what's happening right here. So since this one fit the literal definition of what this video was all about, and it's pretty interesting and quirky in its own right, I thought it was worth bringing up once again. And like I said with the Satotal entry, it's another one of those that just gets your mind racing and your imagination just really excited about what we don't know about the Pokemon world and what's out there that we haven't seen before. And in my personal opinion, that's one of the coolest things about Pokemon in general. With that said though, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on some secret Pokemon that are mentioned in the games that we haven't got to see to this point. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more content all the time. If you like what I do here and would like to support the channel further as well, you can do so by checking out my Pokemon remixes on Spotify or wherever you get your music. It's greatly appreciated and helps the channel out a 
ton right back here. With that said, I'll be back very soon with another new video as well, so stay tuned for that, and thank you so much again for watching this one. I really appreciate it, and until then, as always, I will smell you guys later.